Okay, so we're going to look at some of the arterial differences uh, between the bovine and equine. And in order to do that, we're just going to start proximally and work our way distally. So here, if we start proximally, again, cranial aspect, caudal aspect of the limb, we see our axillary artery right here. Leaving from our axillary artery is going to be this artery, which is the external thoracic artery. And in the bovine, the external thoracic artery is actually going to give rise to an artery that's going to be running through our lateral pectoral groove. Let's see if we can flip this up and have a look at that. Well, our, unfortunately, our descending pectoral's kind of been removed here, so we can't see it very well. But in the bovine, the external thoracic is going to be giving off the deltoid branch that's going to be going through the lateral pectoral groove. So as we continue distally, we again come back to our axillary artery. Our axillary artery then gives off our subscapular artery. The major branches of our subscapular artery include the thoracodorsal artery running to the latissimus dorsi along with the thoracodorsal nerve. We also have this very large branch going caudally to the shoulder joint capsule. That's going to be the caudal circumflex humeral. And in the bovine, the caudal circumflex humeral is actually going to be giving off this artery that's going distolaterally. That's going to be the collateral radial artery. If you remember, in the horse, that comes off of the deep brachial. In the bovine, the collateral radial comes off of the caudal circumflex humeral. Here, we also see the presence of our cranial circumflex humeral coming off right next to our caudal. As we continue distally down the subscapular artery, the last artery we'd be wanting to see would be this most this artery here that's running cranially towards the neck of the scapula. And again, that would be the circumflex scapular artery. Coming back to our axillary, we see that cranial circumflex humeral coming off, which then we move into the brachial artery. The brachial artery then gives off deep brachial arteries back here to the triceps. We see, as we continue distally, a collateral ulnar artery, which is coming back here towards the ulnar nerve. There's our transverse cubital artery and our transected bicipital artery. So this is all pretty similar to what it was in the equine. However, our brachial artery then goes deep to our pronator teres muscle, so that has been reflected, transected and reflected. Now we can see the presence of this very large artery right here coming off the brachial, and that is the common interosseous in the bovine. Now in the bovine, what we oftentimes see if we reflect this and pull those muscles back, sometimes we can actually see where that common interosseous splits into the branch that stays on the caudal aspect of the antibrachium, which is the caudal interosseous, and the branch that goes again between the bones to come out laterally as the cranial interosseous. Another kind of dis difference between the two species is that our radial artery actually leaves the median artery fairly proximal here, about middle of the antibrachium. So this is actually the radial artery that you see continuing distally here. So that's radial artery. And we have median artery right here. Our radial artery then continues down here and gives off this deep palmar arch, which is going to go underneath here and give off our palmar metacarpal arteries. The radial actually then continues distally and will join back up with our median to help create a structure known as the superficial palmar arch. So here we can partially see the superficial palmar arch. This is a piece of it. The other piece of it would be connecting over here. So we are missing a little piece right here. I'll try to find that in one of the pro sections here in a second. But our superficial palmar arch, a little S-shaped jog here, is what's going to give off our palmar common digital arteries to 
three and four. And as you see, there's nerves running right with them, and those are the same names. So here's palmar common digital nerve four, three, and two. Here we're looking at a prosection of a bovine distal limb. Now here we can see a very nice superficial palmar arch. So this whole S-shaped area here is classified as the superficial palmar arch and it would be giving off palmar common digital arteries two, three, and four.